Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I am the Gentleman and welcome to the Gentleman Pixel Club. Usually on the opening of these videos, I woke up in the middle of the night. Well, I may have woken up in the middle of the night, but I've got nothing to say about that. All I want to say is, Johnny, thank you for the background art that I'm using behind me. I found this on the internet. I saw that you created it. I must credit you for this. But before we move any further, I am astounded to be doing this video. I knew this was coming, but to actually be able to do this video for you here and now and play live, I am so, so pleased. But before that, you can follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok, all the handles you can see on the screen at the moment. So what am I pleased to be doing? I'm pleased to be doing Destruction Derby on the PlayStation, on the Mr. FPGA. And some of you will be thinking, hang on, gentlemen, you've done that already. You've done Destruction Derby. Yes, I did. I did it on a PlayStation, but here it is on the Mr. FPGA. I never believed when I first got the Mr. FPGA that it would be able to do this. I've done videos of the Mr. FPGA with a Ridge Racer demo with no sound. I've done videos of the Mr. FPGA compiling the core for the PlayStation. No sound, anything like that. But this is the first time I've actually played the core where it's got sound and it is absolutely phenomenal. It is absolutely brilliant. And, you know, all these old emotions of when I owned a PlayStation are come flooding back. So we are going to play a proper game of this. We're, we're not going to play, effectively, uh, the Destruction Derby on its own. We're not going to do Stock Car Racing on its own. We want to do the whole game and we want to do a championship. So we're going to call ourselves the GPC, and this may be a long video, and I apologize for that, but this is so much fun for me. If you follow along and you enjoy it, brilliant. Thank you very, very much, as I put my name in a little bit wrong there. You know, but th this is a fantastic achievement to have this core running on the Mr. FPGA with sound, and sound makes all the difference. So we're selecting Go here, and I'm going to talk a little bit about this game as we play, if you don't know what to expect, you've not seen it before. First thing we do is we've got a speedway race, and this is going to be 12 laps. And laps are easy to do, but the scoring is what's hard. In this game, you do not score points by effectively coming first. No, no, no. You score points by the damage you do to other cars. So we're going to do a quick walk about the screen to tell you what we've got. Race points is on the top left-hand side. I've got zero at the moment because I've not spun any cars, I've not hit any cars properly, and the more times you spin them, the more times you, you do damage to them and cause issues for them, is how your points rack up. The laps are on the top right hand side of the screen, you can see I've done 2 of 12. On the bottom part of the screen, bottom left hand side of the screen, if I hit you, that might do some points, no it didn't, damn it. On the bottom left hand side of the screen, that is the position that I'm on on the race, and the right hand side of the screen is my car. Those green icons that surround the car, the more I hit into walls, the more I hit other cars, will slowly deteriorate into different colours. And eventually they will go away from any light colours to just a black mark. And when they're just black, if you hit too hard there, you're going to be dead. It's going to be game over. We're not doing too well. We're effectively 5th out of 12th, and we've scored no points so far. I say no points for coming first. You know, we need to do damage, we need to create damage, and we're effectively then going to be in a league table with everybody else. And this is how it starts. This is how we start to do that damage. You get bunched up with all the other cars, like we are at the moment, and you find yourself in a position where you can hit them. They can hit you as they're doing to me as well, knocking me back into seventh place. But you start to spin them around, you start to knock them, and the points will very, very slowly rack up. I love games like this. I own this game when I had a PlayStation. I never knew because you know, the internet you know, wasn't what it was back then. You know, We used to rely on magazines to tell us all these great things that were coming our way. And look at my points as I've hit a few cars and they've spun up. And when Destruction Derby 2 came out, oh by God, you know, I, I was in heaven with that. I actually thought, if I think back, I probably enjoyed the original Destruction Derby more. But Destruction Derby 2, that was just such a surprise to see it on the shelf. In electronics boutique i believe it was back then but i brought it and you know the rest is history there were sequels to that as well there was destruction derby raw um there's been effectively wrecking racing on the pc and i do own that and i also own it on the playstation 4 when i bought it very very cheaply didn't want to own it twice but if it's in a bargain bin it was worth getting so you know these games i am fond of i've played them quite a bit 
I'm reasonably, reasonably skilled on these, but I certainly do enjoy the challenge. But to play this on the Mr. FPJ, the system that I got because it was so portable and it was going to change my life. My job, for those of you that don't know, when we're not in a world of COVID, does involve that I have to travel a little bit and it's race over for me um, for some reason but I've came fourth out of 20 and that's because of the damage on my car maybe but yeah my job did involve me doing a bit of traveling and the Mr. FPJ when I got the second one for that I was always going to take it around to different countries with me so I had something to do in hotel rooms but never did I think that I would be able to have the PlayStation on it? So, you know, this is absolutely phenomenal, the work that has gone into this. I will put in a link um, on the bottom of the screen on this video to the, the, the Patreon. If there is a Patreon for the coder that's done this, if there's not a Patreon, then I will just do a link to wherever you can get it from. You know, I want to pass credit on. I just don't know exactly who did this because I've had it a while. And the problem is on the Mr. FPJ, I've got a script that will update it to the latest version. So I'm a little bit blind as to what goes on in the background, but I promise you the research will be done before I do the video. So these people that are finishing way, way above me, look at this. They finished second, but they've got 16 points. And, you know, I didn't have those points doesn't matter you know we can just go on to the next race because it's all part of a league table and if you win the league table after enough races you move up into another league and pretty much do the same thing again but a lot harder so we are playing a racetrack now that i do not think that i will complete because of the shape of it and it is a pain in the ass figure eight i'm controlling this just like it was a playstation this controller here has the same configuration as a, a PlayStation so you know it feels exactly as it should and with the added sound that has been added to this core which is only recently happened you know that th this is you know loads of old memories come flooding back you know you hear the announcer's voice you hear the sound of the cars the little comments that you get sometimes when you do damage to other cars or even though take me it just gels it fits together to make the, the the complete experience that you remember from from years of old and that, that experience of that junction is very similar to what i remember of years of old it was a pain in the neck and any stock car type racing you know these are always going to be the, the the worst bits that you have where you get the most damage on your car i am amazed that my car isn't actually wrecked at this point and you know we we, we haven't got anything that's gone from the color of green so we're going to take ourselves hopefully hopefully into first place one more to overtake and then we can start not lapping everybody but get into the congestion where when we hit people we will cause damage although that didn't really work out too well for me there because you just saw me get a battering we are still in second place the cars themselves you know that you don't have different driver personalities this game came out long 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 before you know you had ai that was you know unique you know look at that 360 for me that was unique to game but for some reason my points have really stacked up yeah this game came out long long before you had ai that was unique for whatever reasons you know this is just a fun drive smash them up game get around the track and eventually get to the main event which is going to be the destruction derby that is a big bowl effectively where the only walls that exist are the outside walls oh damn it have i gone the wrong way yeah the only walls that exist are the actual outside walls on the track and you know it's a hell for level we all hit each other you're fighting each other in the center we are I, I am fifth i think i got spun a little way back and i actually ended up going the wrong way but you know it doesn't matter we might 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 be able to recover with third out of 19 and what this means is that car probably that one that i've just passed there is absolutely oh, wrecked. so they're going to play no more in the game for some reason the race has ended maybe my car blew out maybe my car um someone passed the finish line but you know we've done okay for ourselves you know i'm pretty pleased where we stand you know that was a lot of points that we got there uh 28 and the race is just finishing so that tells me that it was actually my car that was breaking at that point because it stopped us going on so who came first so 48 points but they finished fourth so it's not crossing the line that counts it's the amount of points you get and we obviously didn't get enough points to be in the standings. If you got the first at 48, you know, that we, we wouldn't be anywhere near it. But it doesn't matter. We're having fun. 
So this is Ocean Drive, and there might be one more after Ocean Drive, which is a night track, if I remember, before we get to the main event, which is the bowl, where basically you're all fighting each other within, you know, a, a big ball. Bowl, bowl, it's a mess, it's a mess, it really is. So, here we go. Daylight time again, and I'm going to try and account for myself a little bit better. I do remember there's a couple of nasty turns on this, and a bit, I believe, where the road gets really, really narrow. Yes, there it is. So, you know, all these little memories... Uh, coming back to me thinking yeah I remember the bad bits on this but look I'm in first place look how peaceful this is nothing around nothing can go wrong and if I carry on driving in this slow pace here I'm going to come absolutely last because my race points will remain at zero but you never know you know we we, we, we might 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 ooh, ooh, I, I say we, we might 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 be able to do some damage without too much damage and happening to us because we don't have the crossroad problem that we had on the last track so we have this little bit and i don't like that little tight corner there and if i can avoid getting caught up in in the mess that that's going to be and maybe start to hit cars that are already damaged already smoking maybe maybe that's how i can rack my points up you know i certainly need to do better than what i did on the on on, on, the, on the previous race you know i've got myself 16 points somehow at the moment don't know how i really don't know how i've done that you know it must be just pure luck because of how other things have hit me and knocked me around but it certainly wasn't through my abilities that that happened so 18 points and first place car is just in front of me at the moment can we overtake him uh we actually don't know can we overtake him her doesn't matter so speeding around here and my when i play this game i literally have my thumb to the accelerator so I'm using the walls to turn. It's very, very rare that I do any braking, and that's why I get so much front damage on this, these games. But you know, I do, do, do want to try and complete a race. And you know, we're, we're six out of 10 at the moment in terms of laps. I'm in first place. I think we may well be able to cross that finish line if we're lucky. And look at this congestion here. This, this is worse than a drive into London. So, oh damn it, what was that car doing in front? No, I'm going to lose it all now. I'm going to lose it all. One moment, everything was fine. And then I just bugger it all up for no particular reason without even hitting anything particularly hard. But my God, we'll be playing this on the Mr. FPGA right now. And this is, as I say, a very early core. You know, there is still things to be done on this car and not have any glitches. Not have any problems you know that this is going to open the door to a sea of games there was a huge 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 playstation back catalog and there was a lot of very very good games in there you know yes they look a bit crude compared to today's gaming but you know we're playing this in full screen i'm playing this on you know hdmi and you know i'm playing this on a really really large telly it feels good it feels natural it doesn't make you feel sick some games do make you feel sick where you blow them up and i've got one particular example in fact two examples of this one is when i was playing gti um on the techno parrot emulator you know i actually felt really really ill and we crossed the line there i felt really really ill when i played that and actually got motion sickness through this and the other one was where i fired up a freeware version of tomb raider called open lara and that was on the the game boy and the way the screen moved around the main character i literally couldn't play the game it really did make me feel ill anyway we are going to move on to the next race and this is the night race and then after that we essentially are going to have the main event you know we're not going to win the championship nowhere near are we going to win the championship but you know we've had fun playing this you know i actually you know and i love making these videos i love making these videos but i look forward to playing this not on camera purely for the fact and this is like a double figure eight here this track by the way i look forward to not playing it on camera so i can really really concentrate and try and, and see whether there's going to be any possibility of recovering any of the skills that i used to have many many years ago because if you're playing on hardware accurate um recreation of the original hardware on the mr fpga then you know you're not going to get any slowdown you're not going to get any problems that you get on emulators where they they emulate things and there's a really good example oops crashing here a really good example i can give of where emulation you know absolutely fails and the, the, the games although they work and they seem perfectly playable 
when you play them on the Mr. FPGA, you know, you, you will see the problem. And this is Rally X and New Rally X. You know, I've done a video of New Rally X and I've scored really, really well on it. And I used to be phenomenally good at this. There's a whole backstory as to the, the trouble that caused me in my life by spending other people's money on that game. But that aside, you know, I used to be really, really good at that game, but I could never, ever recreate it on MAME or anything else like that. The screen shutter was just wrong on any system I played, you know, throughout the years of it being in MAME. You know, the maze update, the way this, it scrolled was just not right. But when I first saw it running on the Mr. FPGA, everything clicked back, everything came into place and what I mean by this is it was so accurate that all the memory muscle from days of old that I believed I had all the skill that I believed I had actually was there and I was able to play that game and I was able to play that game really really well and do scores I had never ever been able to get on any emulated version and it wasn't a pure coincidence you know I was able to repeat those scores and if you look at the video I did on Rally X you know I've got a pretty good my score that's on there you know not everybody can get that score that i've got and and i did well and i challenged that score and i didn't actually beat the score that was on there but i came a very very close second to beating that score speaking about being beaten this car is almost beaten look at the flashing red there we've got five laps to go we're not going to make it you know with a couple more hits it's game over like this but yeah the point that i say is i could beat that score because it was so accurate to what the original machine was, you know, it, it, it was brilliant. So we're going to be dropping down the table. You can see GPC about the middle of the moment. It might drop a couple more places as the race finishes. Uh, may not, I suspect. It certainly won't go any higher uh, than where it is now. And I think all we're seeing is L driver move up very slowly. That's a couple of places above me. On a slight change at the bottom. No, GPC has dropped. So our final position was about. 16 17 for that point but look at this guy he finished 20th but he got 60 points so he, he was the last he probably died very early he was at the back of the pack but he came first so this shows you on this game that positioning is not everything but the doctor finished eighth with 48 plays so you've got a first with 60 points who came 20th you've got a second who finished eighth with 48 points i rest my case so if I'm not going to do this, you can look at a replay to see what you've done. You can go into the pit compound that I've been in before, and all that is is a nice view, a nice graphic scrolling of looking at the cars, looking at the vans that are arriving, but it does absolutely nothing. But all we're going to do is we're going to complete this video by going into the next race, and this is the night track. So there was one more track, so we have one more track to do before we get... To the final event i do apologize i completely forgot about this one i thought the last one was the last one because it was kind of at night but no we've got suffolk house here so we're going to change our tactics here we are going to just speed our way through this whatever damage happens happens because you know we've got such a low score at the moment you know we're not going to achieve anything on the tables and we're just going to get to the main event the final event where we're going to have 20 cars in a free-for-all with just an outside wall around the edge where we're just going to batter the hell out of each other that was a very short lap actually you know what i might i might by pure luck be able to get around this like that that ended a lot quicker than what i expected although i am banging into the corners a fair amount here so you know we'll, we'll see what happens but i was surprised how short this track was there we go that free you know we're almost a third of the way around and we're in third place if you heard the announcer shout then as it shouldn't be too long before we get into first place if i can get past you so there we go two points for all that effort got hits still green everywhere though we might might be able to do this so we're in fifth place though now to overtake these two chaps or chapesses i'm just not certain which ones and i think those are the race leaders in front of us at the moment but you know if all of you any of you even one of you is thinking about getting a mr fpj it is an investment i absolutely get that but for what it gives you all these consoles under one roof you know it's certainly worth thinking about it really is and there's another core that might be of interest that people are working on as well you know when it will come out 
I don't know. You just hope it will come out. You know, don't get, don't buy a console, so you don't buy a Mr. FPJ expecting this core will definitely come out. But they are working on the Sega Saturn as well. So if everything goes to plan, we'll get a Sega Saturn. And old computers, you've got all the computers, you've got the Spectrums, you've got the Commodores, you've got pretty much any old computer you could ever ask for that's available on it as well. So you know you have a huge catalogue of machines along with all the arcade games you've got as well. The arcade library is not as extensive as MAME. You know, MAME has a much, much better library in terms of content. But if you're looking for accurate re recreation, then obviously the Mister is, is a lot better. So here we are, lap seven of 10. I'm quite looking forward to the final race, lap eight of 10. You know, two more to go. We're probably gonna get around it. But he's just spoken about blowing the radiator, so we're probably not going to get around it because that is usually lethal when you get to that point. And you can see all the smoke coming out of my car. But, 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 oh, we nearly got first place. We nearly got first place. Can we get first place? No, we didn't get first place. All right, race over. So we didn't do particularly well there. But we're going to move on to the main event. I mean, oh, look at that. We, we are uh, 20, uh, 90. We are 17th at the moment. We are 17th at the moment. We might even drop a little bit lower than that, but that's not good. So, I'm interested to see whoever comes first, what position did they actually finish in? So, he finished 19th, but he scored 32 points. He doesn't look particularly happy, chap, either. Anyway, here we are, next race. This is the one, the bowl. So, this is the bowl where... The best part of the game is the most entertaining part of the game and you do all your work to get to here but it really really is worth it so here we are in a bowl literally we've only got the outside wall to protect us and all these cars are just going for hell for leather so i'm just going to try and avoid them for the moment you know i, I, I want to survive this for a while we've done all this effort to get there i don't want to you know be over in a moment but this either this is just so much it's so hard but it's so much fun and you know everyone is just smashing into each other a tactic i do use sometimes on this is do a bit of reversing to try and you know minimize the damage that's going on here so you know you, you're just hitting things on the back but they just drive and smash into you so it's clearly not working too well i'm hoping we're going to see a couple of wrecks i don't want to be the first one wrecked i do not want to be the first one wrecked and if you look here there is no lap, there's nothing like this. It just carries on and until it ends. It really, it really does. Yeah, there's nothing you can do apart from just drive around, just go for it and try and score points. But I know that, we're, that there's no point in even going for the points. No joke intended there because we've done so badly in some of the earlier races that you know we, 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 we will never perform well in the overall standings because this is a league game and I'm deliberately going backwards here. Yeah, this is a league game and all your, your scores from each race stack up, which we'll see at the end. So 16 points so far. The left-hand side of my car, if that takes too much more damage, I'm gone for it. But look at this, look at the mess of all the other cars that are around as well. Just avoid it. that one hit you with my back guard. That spun him, but not enough. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, I ain't going to be long before it's game over for me, so all I can do is just um, drive, 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 and try and avoid them. I love the physics in the cars, where you get all the dents, all the damage, and then you get scenarios like this where everything piles into you, and, and there's nothing you can do about it. As we go around, we haven't finished last, because you can see all, some of the cars on the tracks with black smoke, some of them with uh, white smoke, which shows that radiator is almost out, and then you've got me that seems to be reasonably intact. No smoke, but everything is red. Your steering goes on here as well. If they hit you enough in enough points, you know, you can't steer properly. You know, it may look like I'm skillfully weaving around here, but actually I, I have no ability to steer properly. And I think it's only me and that green car left. Where is he? Oh no, there is a couple of others. There's a couple of it's just calmed down so much because everybody is busted and broken and why did I drive into the wall like that? So yeah, there's at least two green cars there that are fighting each other. Who else can we see? He hit the wall. 
I don't know why my points went up by 10 there, but this looks like it's nearly race over. I've actually done a lot better than what I thought I would on here. In fact, I don't think I've ever scored 52 points in, in this part of the event, but usually it's over so much more quicker than this. 54 points now. Come on, come on, come on. What can we do? What can we do? I can't steer. I'm stuck against the wall. My axle is completely wrecked. Yeah. I guess I can go forward a little bit. You wouldn't want to be in this car, you know. I, I, I look at the state. Look at all the flashing bits of my car. One more impact from anything. And it's game over. Somehow, somehow, I'm now at 64 points. I guess he drove into me and wrote himself off. I just don't know. Can I reverse into you? No, I missed you. So, this is now watching like two snails do a slow dance of death in the middle of the road. Nobody able to kill each other because they can't get enough speed. You know, I'm holding flat out here. You know, the rear of my car is completely wrecked. You know, there, there's nothing... There, there's nothing left i've only got the flashing reds at the front you know i i don't know what to do i can't steer all i can do is just, oh move around very slowly somehow get another four points and this is maximum speed but this this is a fun game this is a good game and this is a wholesome game and this truly is a retro game and you know what this channel is about so i'm going to reverse into him and try and push him into the wall to end him which I can't. Maybe, I, maybe, 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 I should just stay on one spot. But I do want to try and win. But and, and there is, but I, I have no steering. I literally have no steering. Yeah, I'm steering at the moment, and it's doing sod all. It's like it's dragging itself slowly around. So we are going to just get ourselves to a position. Oh, no. oh it ended. Typical. Win. Yeah, I was going to get myself to a position that he just whack into me. So let's see where we came. In the rankings here, I think I came second in terms of the the not not uh, damn it not score but finishing position. I think I came second. Maybe it will show. We'll see. Well, okay. This was unexpected. Across all the races, the GPC. We got 158 points, and that must have been really because of what we did on that derby. So, you know, if we view the league, you know, uh, they came Division 1, this is who came first. And although you've got all the drivers in effectively a, a, a long-going uh, league, league of drivers, you know, you're all in the same competition, you're all racing each other, it's split up into multiple leagues. Sorry, I forgot to explain that at the beginning. And yeah, this is why, you know, I won that. So of the small group of the people at the bottom, effectively in division five, I came first. So I actually got more points than Passion Wagon here. And she got 128 points where I got 158 points. So I guess that means if we would continue this game, I would move up into division four and who's place four, the optician would drop down into division five. Anyway, this has been a fun video, and this is just demonstrating the fantastic PlayStation Core on the Mr. FPJ that is only, only in beta at the moment. You know, I'm really looking forward to what this delivers going forward. I truly am. There's going to be so many games that we can play, so many games that we can enjoy. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope that maybe, maybe... This has convinced you to take a look at the Mr. FPGA if it's not a system that you've considered before. But you stay safe, you take care, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Would you like to play again? Hello there, it's me again. If you're a subscriber to this channel, thank you very much. If you're not a subscriber to this channel, then Zeus here would love you to subscribe. It makes him happy, and it makes me happy. And if Zeus is happy, everybody is happy. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care. Goodbye.